Glenn Hoddle led England at the World Cup in 1988. Lovely to see you, Glenn. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good so, morning. you know, it's a Winter World Cup. The anticipation we've been talking in the show has mm. built up in me. But with my friends and my mates, my West Ham friends, the sort of it's, it's not been the usual anticipation pre-World Cup. It hasn't been. It hasn't. And uh, everyone's got their club head on. Yes. If you're a fan, you're, it's all about your clubs and... You know, and suddenly, within a week, it's weird, isn't it? Suddenly now we've got to switch to World Cup, um, which normally have three weeks to, uh, to prepare. You know what? That might actually suit England. I was going to say, To yeah. get on with it quickly, because you know what the press are like a little bit in England? I, I faced that in 98. When you have that three-week period, they've got that three weeks to talk about nothing apart from England. So you, you get all left-field stuff coming in and, it, it, you know... The players don't focus as much. That's what So coming around quickly, they play on Monday. I think it will suit Gareth and the boys, yeah. So when they, you know, everyone's talking about it being England's best chance to bring football home since 1966, is that something you agree with? You know, what's going to make the difference, do you think? Listen, I, I really think going forward, attacking-wise, we've got an eight or nine out of a ten side. Defensively, I think we're six. We're five or six. So how we defend, really, will decide whether we actually go all the way I think we can go deep into the tournament. I really do. But I think it's how we defend as a team yeah. is to see how far we really go and can we win it. Going forward, we've got some exciting players. We really have. And uh, if they're given the licence, if they've got the right shape and the system, we can go all the way. The Welsh team, of course, first time they've yeah. been there in, in a number of years, isn't it, Sean? And it's exciting to have the Welsh there. We saw what they did in the Euros under Chris Coleman, of course. It's fantastic. It really is. And they've tried and tried over the years and they've come close so many times. And again, they've got such a great team spirit. Yeah, they're like a club. Saying. They've almost got that club sort of atmosphere when they go. And it looks like every player, you know, they, they can't wait to get the Gareth Bale being one. Yeah. He really enjoys going and playing for Wales and putting that shirt on. So, with that spirit, you know, I think they can qualify. I really do. What about the temperatures as well? We were just discussing this because our <laughs> correspondent Jonathan's out there. It's already getting into the late 20s mm. and it's first thing in the morning. By the time the players are playing... You played in the south of France for a long time. Yeah. The, it wasn't this hot, but you know what it's like to play in hot temperatures. What's it going to be like for the players? How it, much of an impact? It's going to be tough or tougher, but you know what? I played in 86 in Mexico. Of course. When it was, you know, 110 degrees in Monterey with altitude as well. So I've got, I've got less sympathy for them. There. <laughs> <laughs> um, 30 degrees is no different than Spain. We played in 82 in Spain. And, you know, in, in the summer, in Europe or wherever, it, it's hotter than that. And I think also the reason why I, I think I'm optimistic about England's chances, it's come at a time when we have a Premier League. It's the hardest league in the world. It's tough. Every game is tough. We're shattered by the end of a season. It's come after 16 games now they've only played. And I think this little week preparation and go again will suit us more than any other country. England's form's not brilliant going into it, though. I mean, Gareth has been up against it a little bit. Some of the friendlies yeah. we've been playing and the, mm. sort of the, 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 the Nations League play, games that we were playing. Yeah, it, the form's not good. You know what, though? Tournament football is about peaking at the right time, getting good fortune, making your own good fortune and turning it into a positivity. Getting good... I mean, people have got to have good, good performances. I think your goalkeeper, number one, has got to be really on form. He's got to have a good tournament. And then, as I said, your defence and go from there. But you know what? I, I, don't, I don't see that as, as too much of a problem for, for, the, for the boys. I, I really don't. I think, it's, um, I think it's going under the radar a little bit. Because if we'd have gone in there... I remember in 86, we went, I think, 13 games unbeaten going into the World Cup. What did we do? We lost the first game. Yeah, so, uh, that can yeah. be brutal. It can uh, happen. It can happen. Speculation so going under the radar might suit us. About how many of the fans will be there? How much of a difference will it make to the players if they look out there and they haven't got the That's... usual... Crowds of fans yeah. cheering them on. That is, that is one thing. It's a big question mark, you know. We don't quite know. There's been a few reports saying that the fans are there. There's some... But it's not there in their millions yet. I think that will happen. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm worried about. I'm a bit sceptical. And you don't... In a World Cup, you don't want to see empty stadiums, do you? That's the last no, thing you absolutely. can do. absolutely. And um, that's the risk I think uh, FIFA has taken. They've taken quite a few risks, but... That's one. I hope that you can see a crowd there. Because normally, if it's a big country, if it was in England, for instance, the neutral game of, I don't know, Ecuador versus Qatar, whoever it may be, you get the locals supporting yeah. that World Cup. It'd be full houses. Yeah. So that's my little worry there uh, with this Qatari uh, World Cup. <laughs>